So hello, I'm um, Eric Kreslo, Chief Marketing Officer at Sotkine, and we're here at GDC. So Eric, how have you worked with NVIDIA with your technology? Well, we are leveraging the, the power of their GPU to run our uh, advanced algorithms for uh, 3D vision and gesture recognition. What have they provided in terms of technology that's helped with your development? So they, um, they provide um, the CUDA API, which is the API to use the GPU for different things like you know, shader, of course, but also for advanced uh, algorithms like we are doing. And how does your technology make use of the latest Tegra hardware? So again, it's really the, the raw uh, power of the GPU which really help us to, uh, to run very advanced uh, gesture recognition and 3D vision uh, algorithms that wouldn't run on the mobile platform otherwise. And what are the challenges of developing for Android devices today? Yeah. So uh, Android devices are very open, which is a good thing, but it's so much open that it's difficult to find your way through the content, the different use cases that you can have on Android devices. And how does NVIDIA help with this? So NVIDIA is uh, um, trying to uh, narrow down a bit the, the ecosystem or to add a layer on top of uh, Android to uh, have a, um, a better focus on the experience you can have on, on their device. And what are your thoughts on the new Tegra K1 technology? Yeah, so it is really an amazing uh, GPU in terms of uh, uh, raw processing performance that we really need for what we are doing with our 3D camera. What do you feel Tegra K1 opens up for you as a hardware and software developer? Well, it really brings the, the mobile platforms to the level of the most high-end uh, uh, workstation like PC or, or game console. So that, that's really uh, interesting for us because we all know that the future is in mobile. So th that's really uh, great to have that, that processing power available on the mobile platform. What type of leap is there between what you could do with Tegra 4 and what's possible with Tegra K1? Well, uh, already with the, the Tegra 4, we had uh, amazing performance, but with the K1, so far what we've seen is that it's uh, really an order of magnitude higher than the, the Tegra 4. What are your thoughts on the speed at which NVIDIA mobile technology is accelerating? Well, that, that's quite amazing. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about the, the, the time between the T4 and uh, the K1, but I think something like 18 months. So it's very short uh, cycle, so we can't wait to see the, the next iteration of the GPU. What was your uh, vision when heading into this project? Well, our, our goal is really to uh, enable um, more intuitive and immersive interaction between uh, a user and, and the computer or, or mobile platform and the digital content that you can find on those platforms. And how do you feel your hardware innovates today's technology? Uh, well, so with 3D, 3D vision like we are doing you know, and gesture recognition, um, that really adds that, that new dimension to the interaction with the, the device. And um, I think that everybody is looking for more natural and immersive interaction with those complex devices that are the, 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 the tablets or the PCs. And what, do you, and what do you think consumers will like most about your technology? Well, I think that uh, if it's invisible, people will like it. I mean, we need to be embedded, we need to be very natural and robust. And uh, once it will be, uh, we will get to that point, uh, people will just don't notice it and just use those uh, new, new ways of interacting with the device.